Uh, thank you, and I want to thank uh, Minister Martin for being here today, and particularly for mentioning the National Family Museum at Strokestown. Of course, an absolutely amazing facility, over three million, of course, been there, and Minister, you were there at the opening. Uh, Strokestown, of course, and I like this joined up thinking between departments. Uh, Strokestown has also benefited from Town Centre First investment, and also the 200 million euro investment in the N5 Baldrine to Scrimog, which will bring more visitors to that region, um, but will also uh, take the heavy traffic out of the middle of that town, for example. Christmas markets run in Strokestown last week. The place was absolutely hopping. It's great to see it. Minister, I suppose my questions are around how do we increase bed capacity in these regions? You can travel very far in a lot of rural areas and there is no access to bed capacity for tourists to stay in this region because it's enough to bring them there, but we'd like them to stay, to enjoy what we have to offer in the west of Ireland. Uh, Minister, in on a slow, we are very fortunate. We have the new investment coming with the cycleway, Galway to Dublin. Um, that again will bring more visitors, a benefit to our communities, but also to, to bringing people to our region. Um, I suppose if you have any comments about how we will be able to maximise on the potential that this land, like groundbreaking piece of infrastructure is going to bring in the next three to five years. Um, also, Minister, last uh, Sunday I was invited to go on a battlefield walk for Ockram. Ockram is a few miles outside of Banislow. The Battle of Ockram, of course, is a battle from 1691 that led to a change in our history in Ireland and Europe. Uh, Minister, we need more investment. Uh, currently that's owned by Galway County Council. It would be great to look at opportunities for how Port Falcher or Falcher Ireland might support developing that particular site for tourism. Garmagoth.